Hi friends, this is Vema Reddy. Today we will see an interesting topic. How we can integrate Slack with Bumi. Okay, so I already shared my screen. Like if you see, right? For this use case, what I'm trying to do here is, as you know, like many of the organizations will be using the Slack for internal uh, communication as a social messaging app within organizations. Some of them will be using the Teams, etc. But in case if your organization is using a Slack as a messaging application or, or, or as a communication based application, so you can integrate the Boomi with the Slack API, uh, but I'm not going to look at the other way around, like from Boomi send a message to Slack. This I'm not covering in this video. What I'm trying to do, I'm enabling the Slack communication whenever you, because I already have a trial account. Okay, So I already have a trial account. And if you just go to this trial account and you can create a workspace and you can just Google it for how you can create a, a, a trial account for the Slack account. And then once you create a trial account and then you will be able to create a workspace. The workspace is a place where you can put all your messages, like all your colleagues will be joining and all your things. So like I created one of the workspace like this is Boomi and Workato integration. So as soon as you create an workspace, there will be a workspace URL will be a, a unique workspace URL will be assigned to you. So this is a workspace URL. You can see this is a workspace URL. It has been assigned to me. And this is what the workspace name I has given it. So here, whenever, as you know, like you can create a channel. So if you are first time you're using Slack, you can create a channel. This is kind of like more like WhatsApp groups, like you can add as many number of message persons you want to add, and you can send a one message, like it will be able to send message to all the persons in the group. Similarly, you can also send a direct messages. You can also create apps. Slack has a lot of, lot of, lot of apps to integrate with multiple applications. Like it can integrate with the GitHub, it integrates with the Zoom, it can integrate with the Outlook, it can integrate with the uh, Bitbucket, like the Jira, like a lot many things are there. If you just go and click on plus apps, right? You can be able to see a lot many apps you can see here. You can see a lot of apps are there. You can just Google Drive. You can see a lot, lot many apps are there. Like it was like ocean kind of thing. Okay. But I'm not going to, to detail about this one. What I'm trying to do here is as part of your applications, if you send any message, okay, if you send any message, you will be able to trigger a Boomi process. So what I can call it as event based. As part of any conversations, you can trigger a message. Maybe one of the use cases where you can do, you can give an ops team, operations team, a control where they can go ahead and trigger a jobs by passing in some set of inputs. Let's say you want, they wanted to trigger a job that ran, that they wanted to reprocess the job with the file as an input or something. And then you can expect the file, file path, a fully file path. And then your process will be able to grab that fully file path and read it from specific your source system and then process it. There will be a lot of use cases, but I'm coming up with a very simple use, uh, very simple uh, process where you will just trigger a message, where you just trigger a message from Slack and it receives a Boomi process will be gets triggered. What Boomi process is getting triggered is, is what the created high level. Uh, but if you just go and see here, Okay, you can see I trust a lot of things here to make it this thing works to save time. You can see as soon as you receive a message, what you can do, you can do whatever you want. Okay, so how you can do this functionality? There is a two options where you can do this functionality is 
one with a legacy custom applications where there is a concept called slash commands okay in in any of the way when you just put slash okay you'll see a lot of things are coming a pre-built commands also you can define your own commands if you want to post a message yourself you can do like this open channel like then you can do a lot many things with this you want to remind there are a lot many things you can do it's all like pre-built uh, uh, commands it's called slash commands you can also create your own command when you create your own command it automatically sends a message to the process let's see how you can do that so as a name there is a there is a one dedicated app is given one is slash command another one is you can create your own app the way how you have lot many apps for one for google drive like one for outlook all these things you can also create it so i'm just going here okay and you can just create your app okay boom uh, for you creating this one so what you can do is you can create okay you can for for to, to create your app what you can do is you can go to this app directory or else where you can just as i showed you can just go to add apps and i'll also you can navigate it here you can just search for the slash here you can see there is a slash commands here when you click on slash commands this is pretty uh, old one like you can create your own command and then you can do it okay you can see it is automatically navigating to my uh, this workspace here and in the workspace it is expecting it just trying to open the slash command since it is already configured from my end it is already configured from my end it's just showing a configuration but if you want to add anything add to slack something you can just click on here and then it will ask you to enter so what typically it will do is you just write some command for example what i did is i just given you can see here you're typing a weather you send a message to an external url what it will do you have to create your own keyword this keyword should be in a queue the way how you can do create keyword is me create a channel archive remind something like you can create your own new id so what i did i created a thing called boomi here and i click a clicked on add slash for example i create okay trigger boomi if you just click on add slash command integration what it will do it will ask you to whenever you just trigger anything like that when you slash trigger boomi it will when you put it any message here right go to add message whenever you put something like this it automatically send a message to an outbound how the message looks like is how the message looks like this token is basically will be generated automatically if you want to identify this request comes from your workspace that you can validate with the token id also some other information will be coming like what channel it is coming what channel name user id who will trigger it what was the command what was the text after your command whatever you mentioned all these things will command as a text and this is a response where if you want to revert back to the um, boomy uh, slack once the process gets completed you can use this one so this is how you can just go ahead and when you will send any message from the slack it will trigger a message uh, to a boomy process a via post message or get message that you can configure it here okay whether you want to create a configure gate or something when you enter this command it asks you to give a command okay it asks you to give it entire boomy service url what you need to do is for that you need to create a boomy web services server connector url that takes in your input and if you want to send it a post you can give a post that's a default command or else you want to send a get whatever the message content i showed all these things will send as a query parameters otherwise these things will send as a body in a post when you select the default is a post method you can see when you send gate all these things will come as a query parameters once you give your command 
after your command gets hit from Slack, what service you want to get triggered, like what post method or what get method you want to trigger against the URL, you need to pull it here, you need to paste it here, and also it automatically regenerate the token. It is just identify this particular request is coming from your Slack org. Also, you can rename whatever you want. You can upload your image, whatever you want, right kind to be visible. And then you want to put any auto -pop population, you can just put this one and then you'll be able to use this. And you can put your label and translate IDs, all these things you can take and then you can save it. As soon as you save it, there will be a Slack command is automatically integrated into your app. So you can see as soon as I created two, one, this is the what I showed is slash commands is you can see you're going to install an app called slash command app. So this is a custom integration. They call it as it's kind of big if you can see, please note that this is a legacy custom integration an outdated way for teams to integrate with Slack. These integrations lack new features and they will be duplicated and possibly removed in the future. We don't recommend their use. So this is a one of, so instead what they suggested is to create a Slack app. Okay. So you can use this option itself as embedded into the Slack app itself, but I created two commands, one with the legacy one, which is outdated one, deprecated one, another with Slack app. So if you see here, as soon as you create an app, you just see, you can see this is, I have given, you can see this is, is with app I created, okay? This is, you can see custom, okay? You can see command, custom means is a custom integration. This is what I'm referring to slash command. But apart from that, this Slack apps is a modernized way, the newest way is the one what I was referring as this, because I already created a Boomi app. This app, if you go to my workspace, right? So you can just click on manage or else you can just go to browse apps there are a lot of apps maybe let me see manage okay you can see two apps are installed one is postman i already given an authentication to my local postman app and also I created one app inside this app also you can be able to make an outbound call whenever you message any commands so this is what I created it here and you when you when you hit this command when you hit this command what it will do it will trigger a slash command and this will send out a message okay go to configuration Okay, you can see when you hit slash boomy, what it will do is it will just send a message to here. Okay, there is one more thing I wanted to tell you. From boomy side, from boomy side, it is authenticated with basic, enabled with basic authentication. So, but we don't have any option from the Slack side option to pass any authentication. In that case, what we need to do, you need after your endpoint URL, you need to put boomy underscore auth. What you need to do with boomy underscore auth is you go to the base 64 encode online, you get, you go to decode, you just you need to create this string. This you need to create this string. This string only you need to do when you are configuring application. Here in this case, Slack doesn't have a placeholder to put to enter the key in the user and password along with this URL. It has only one field that's a URL. So in this URL, you need to tell them that uh, a post or uh, Slack command, okay, this is authenticated. So you need to boom, if you pass the URL is a boomy standard way. If you pass boomy underscore auth with colon, this is from combination of base 64 encoded string. This will contain username and password. How you need to create this string is, you need to go to click on encode and then put your user and then put your password. When you click user and password, 
for example i want to use one two three and i want to put something something like that when you generate the encode what you will get it is you will get this string this is a base 64 this is what the general standard http authorization handle parameter will be using okay this if where do you get the username and password you know because you know, go to the item management you will be able to get this information with shared web service server and go to this is your yes url go to user user and then when you click on show token you'll get this will be username and this will be password okay this is my trial account so with this combination you will be able to be able to create a token and pass this token along with the endpoint you are to here where i was mentioned here okay this is also step by step guide is already there how you can do but here once you put the command the url here the url here will be the url here will be boomy app and then you mention method and then you just you want to upload i already uploaded boomy image and then you just click on your commands and you write your description and you hint how you want to pass your input to the command and then you just give your description label as a boomy integration and then click on save once you're done set up everything is in place to trigger boomy process from the slack message okay so this is the boomy part i'm going to explain it in the next video but i'm just going to trigger it how it works okay first go to your app and then i just you can go to any of the channels okay you just send you can see it automatically comes here i just send boomy okay hello world okay this is just i'm just going to trigger this will be my command this command it tells to trigger the boomy process by sending an http or uh, s https post method request and this will be my text content when you click on send right you can see as soon as when i send a request okay you can see a new message available here you can see it says it is only visible to me but i'll come back to this how you can visible to you you can see i created an app that app name called slack boomy app you can see i give a name as slack boomy app with that it because this is inside boomy once i receive request i am sending a message in the boomy receive request process with execution whatever the execution i got this execution i'm going to send it so for tracking purpose if i go to here if i go to process reporting and as you know you can be able to filter with your executions okay so you can see the boomy process gets triggered and send a message okay so in the next video i'm going to explain the steps that required to do from boomy okay thanks for watching this video we'll we'll explain in another video thank you